Okay, before I, I start the video, I wanted to show some of the pictures I have of the pre-slab and setup and all that. Uh, cutting away the dirt and grass and anything that's fairly soft. Removing the big roots from the back. There were some old trees. There were a couple bushes. There was a some sort of weird topiary cedar tree here. And then on the other side, there was another tree here. There, there was garbage and a swing set, bottles. Some, some of it was pretty cool. Some uh, milk bottles and um, bovril bottles, which are very strange. Meat, drink, concentrate. The, the form was laid out by uh, a builder because that was part of the deal. I would prep, but they would uh, do the main slab. Yeah, this is a. Uh, a uh, lilac bush that's like 20 feet tall and there's like three major branches uh, coming out of it. So I had to take the one and I left these two. Hopefully they uh they do well. Set the the line here to to give them the the starting point for the path. Then they came in and set up the rest of the forms, squared it off. Yeah, there's a chain link in there somewhere, but it was so rotten and so rusty. I mean, it was in there for probably since the 60s. So yeah, that was coming out. I'll just have to speak nicely to the neighbor and uh, say, hey, can I go uh, paint the side of my shed? Or garage. I'm calling it a shed because technically that's what everybody else calls it. A garage here in Ireland, people think it's a, a fuel station. So, so yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Um, the, the hedge down here is much straighter now. It was really damaged from ivy. So now it'll be much happier when it fills back in. Um, this is ramped up to, I'd say it's right about here, both the dirt and the path will ramp up the, that's the, the shed itself, the garage. Um, it's a log cabin kit. I'll, I'll show more of that later. And this is what I'm going to show the video on. I'm going to go and make sure it's, it is genuinely six inches deep. The guy who priced the concrete said he, you know, he'd do seven inches, but, uh, I didn't have any uh, gravel to backfill it, so it's a little bit harder to, to get it flat. And I've heard a few people mention doing uh, insulated concrete, so like going down another two inches and putting in a, like a two-inch foam insulation, but the temperatures don't change so rapidly you get much condensation. There will be a damp-proof membrane, but I, I'm not putting any insulation in. It's real handy, though, if you do that below uh, a concrete like say if you have underfloor heating, you know, it retains the heat and keeps it constant. So yeah, that would be good. But for a garage, no, I don't need that. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through. These are just some stills. This is uh, just to show you what I I'm doing. That's the the screed I made, and um, you can see here. Here's the outside wall, and then it rises up, and that's what I'm taking away. And that's the bottom of the screed. More screed action. Almost done. Just gotta screed the last bit of dirt before putting down the uh, the damp proof membrane. It's pretty close, but uh, there's still some mounds and I can't have any in this area here because any mounds in that will make it much th thinner and uh, that's where the lift goes. And then over there is fine, but yeah, we need to trim off about two inches out of here. Well, that's coming along nicely. There's only a little bit more of the high spot. So it drops off there and it gets a little high there, but uh, yeah, this will be good. And then I finish this one off, it goes to about there. And it gets to about an inch, inch and a half, but that was about two inches there. Upwards and onwards, or downwards and onwards. Still a few small high spots that lifts the board up. Right there in the middle too. But after I get rid of that, 
And then I think it's just this one here. I'm a little out of breath. So yeah, this little uh, section here is about six foot by three foot. It's a little too tall. That's not under one of the, that's not under any load bearing walls, except for the, just back here. But I still like to get rid of it. There we go. Minimum of six inches. I dug the trench. Set the end of it so I can run up the wall on the interior. So I have the distance between the between the up pipe, the back wall, and the side wall. The side wall is actually in 20 centimeters, so I need it to be just on the inside of that. And then this is all it's all level and shaved off within half inch. And then the electrical water will go up the path.